General Wesley Clark tweeted, Great remarks by POTUS. Clear, forceful, perfect pitch. Russia the aggressor. NATO standing firm. Uh, every American should be proud of his mm-hmm. leadership. I think emphasis on America. Yes. If you are an un-American uh, traitor. Yes. Much like, oh, do we have... One? I am a traitor. Well, you, obviously. But let's skip to uh, 20 and 21. This would be... Uh, American, the pur- purportedly Americans, yeah. Tucker like, Carlson. Tuckio Rose. Yeah, this is Tuckio Rose last night. Mm-hmm. It would be worth asking yourself, since it is getting pretty serious, what is this really about? Why do I hate Putin so much? Mm. Has Putin ever called me a racist? Has he threatened to get me fired for disagreeing with him? What? Has he shipped every middle-class job in my town to Russia? Oh Did he manufacture a worldwide pandemic that wrecked my business and kept me indoors for two years? Mm. Is he teaching my children to embrace racial discrimination? Is he making fentanyl? Is he trying to snuff out Christianity? Does he eat dogs? These are fair questions, and the answer to all of them is no. Vladimir Putin didn't do any of that. Okay. And here is also noted traitor uh, Mike Pompeo. Very shrewd. Very capable. I have enormous respect for him. I've been criticized for saying that. Wow, that's Uh, weird. Mm -hmm. No, I have enormous respect for him. Uh, He was also an interlocutor that was uh, always well-informed and deeply clear about what Russian interests were. I, I appreciated that. Okay, Midas Touch said Donald Trump just called Putin's invasion of Ukraine genius and very savvy and referred to him as a peacekeeper. What a traitor. I don't, there is no other word for it. I am a traitor. Can you sample that like a DJ? Can you just dip? Just I, 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 I am a right. traitor. Right, tra- 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 traitor. I can't, uh, yeah, I can only sample it. Oh, the, the first part? Okay. Yeah, but you can do the record scratch on your side, can't you? Yeah. Oh, I could. I am a traitor. I don't have the record scratch. You have oh, it. I thought you, oh, oh, I thought you had in your no, box. No, you have it. You'll have to do both. There, there you go. Okay. I am a traitor. Mm, mm. Okay. Uh, Jim Shuto tweets, There are uh, these are significant sanctions, especially cutting off Russia from Western financing. I don't believe Putin calculated the U.S. and Europe had a, in them. Thank you. I keep saying that. It's, it's Putin that has miscalculated and underestimated Biden and NATO, not the other way around. One American traitors. Hi, Annie in North Carolina. Hello, Annie. Hi, good morning, everyone. I was going to talk, make a comment on Dirk Diggler, but I changed my mind after the Chicago caller. Um, I'm on Glenn Kirshner's um, Justice is Coming. I'm a federal, uh, retired federal worker. I worked in a U.S. attorney's office for 21 and a half years. I worked on RICO cases. Mm -hmm. I worked on CCE cases. I may have met Glenn. I I need to look up the years that he worked for uh, DOJ because... Back in '85 through the early 2000s yeah. is when I did. So yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, I think justice is coming. And I, I worked, do too. Like Glenn said, I worked on cases. I do too. I'm sorry. This last you know, caller, by the way, I feel like is a plant. Uh-huh. It's a Democrat bashing. Like, oh, yeah. oh, oh people yeah. aren't going to vote for oh, Democrats because yeah, sure. Chuck Schumer has failed on holding Trump accountable. Mm-hmm. It's like what? Chuck Schumer has nothing to do with holding Trump accountable. Just <laughs> justice is coming, Annie. Mm-hmm. You're right. Anyway, it, it sure is. So I just wanted to, you know, let you know that, um, you know, people like me are still out here making, you know, calls to Congress and senators, and, and it is coming. And those cases take a long time to uh, put together. It's yeah. not an overnight thing. Yeah. RICO and CCE, wow. I'm sorry, hang on. Did you say... <laughs> RICO. <laughs> All right, hang on, Let Annie. As one a... more th- just real, one more thing real yeah. quick. One of my cases I worked on, it's the folders are actually in the National Archives. Oh, wow. No Ooh. kidding. So you're important. My handwriting. Well, well, I was a can I get secretary. Your, as I, a, wasn't a, I was not an AUSA. I wasn't an assistant U.S. attorney or anything like that. I, uh, I was a worker bee under the attorney. Well, not right. under the attorney. But as a, <laughs> as a former prosecutor, can I ask you uh, to comment on I'm Dave? I'm not a prosecutor. Okay. She's a secretary, I wasn't she said. A prosecutor. Got it, yeah. got it, got it. But yeah, I yeah. just was curious about, because um, you brought it up, about David K. Johnson's um, comments he said Trump's family business will be charged with racketeering. He's the you know Pulitzer Prize winning. Uh, uh-huh. He's the only one that's oh, yeah, ever. I follow him. He's one the only one that's ever been able to obtain mm-hmm. Trump's tax returns. Mm-hmm. Remember there was a mm-hmm. you know right. a suit. Right. I, who knows? Anyway, but um, he said yeah. it does mean uh, Mazars is helping prosecutors put together what I will expect will be a racketeering case, a New York State racketeering case against Trump, the Trump Organization, Weisselberg, and possibly probably uh, Donald's three older children, Eric Trump Jr. and Ivanka. Um, mm-hmm. It's known as he mm-hmm. said, "Little Rico," uh, which is oh, I haven't yeah. I heard, haven't heard of Little Rico, but um, it's the state's adaptation of that, the Rico law. Rico Ita. I, yeah, I understood <laughs> that part. Yeah, right. Um, and here's something else that's crossed my mind all these years. But, you know, because we've been in this forever, it feels like with you know who. Um, 
remember the FBI agent McCabe who got, you know, yes. Uh, anyway, you know, when he started out as an agent in, uh, at, for the FBI, he, he prosecuted investigative Russia, Russian mob cases in New York, which makes me yeah. <laughs> like, okay, there's Russia. And then here's one more thing. Rudy Giuliani was a U.S. attorney for the Southern District of, of New York. This may sound crazy, but not crazy. Um, maybe, maybe Rudy helped uh, uh, protect uh, Trump all those years. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 who, know, who, who now knows? Who knows? Like, now that we're it's learning, it's like a bottomless learning, pit of yeah. Yeah, and now that we're learning all the it, it's horrible stuff that Rudy yeah. uh, is—he didn't just start this in the last few years. He's probably been like this his whole life. Yep, probably. Yeah. All right, Andy, so, thank anyway, you, thank uh, you so much, honey. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, I that may get him, little Rico. 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 Suave. Um, David K. Johnson says the Manhattan grand jury is eventually going to indict Donald Trump. They've got five million pages of documents. Uh, Donald Trump will be indicted on a state racketeering charge. I'm confident of that, says uh, David K. Johnson. Mm -hmm. And perhaps Westchester County by Mimi Rocha, the new DA there, and in Fulton County, Georgia, by um, Bonnie Willis. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to make everybody a little bit happy this morning that the traitor might end up in jail. Something to hope for. Yeah. I am a traitor. I know that. (laughs) He just wanted to remind you. Okay. We'll just, I'll, I'll take anything that will put him in jail. Okay. Um, yeah. Where I, can I, <laughs> speaking of Eric going to jail. Oh, God. Is this, I mean, there's a lot of pathetic moments with them desperately hoping so for daddy's weird. love. But so he's at a rally and he, and he calls, calls his, his dad. dad to tell him he loves him and the crowd loves him. And Trump, of course, doesn't say it back, which is. Just, Have a nice weekend. Okay.